Opening hook and subscribe call August 7th, 2025 will be remembered as the day the AI coding wars reached their climax and ended with a knockout punch that nobody saw coming. For months, Anthropic's Claude 4.1 had been the undisputed champion of AI programming, dominating every coding benchmark and making developers around the world abandon their old tools. Claude was so good that Anthropic's coding subscription service hit $400 million in annual revenue almost overnight. Then OpenAI dropped GPT-5, and in less than 24 hours, they didn't just catch up to Claude, they completely obliterated the competition. If you want to understand how the most important battle in AI just ended, and what this means for every programmer on Earth, hit that subscribe button right now. We're about to dive into the most dramatic reversal in tech history. Chapter 1. Claude's Reign of Terror To understand how shocking GPT-5's victory is, you need to understand just how dominant Claude 4.1 had become in the coding world. When Anthropic released Claude 4.1 just weeks ago, it achieved something unprecedented, 74.5% on Sweebench Verified, the most challenging coding benchmark that tests real-world software engineering tasks pulled directly from GitHub issues. This wasn't just good, it was revolutionary. Claude 4.1 was solving nearly three out of four real programming problems that stumped human developers. The impact was immediate and devastating to the competition. OpenAI's previous best model, O3, could only manage 69.1%. Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro was stuck at 67.2%. Claude wasn't just winning, it was embarrassing everyone else. But the numbers were just the beginning. Developers started sharing stories that sounded like science fiction. Claude 4.1 wasn't just writing code. It was debugging complex systems, understanding entire code bases, and solving problems that would take senior engineers hours or even days to figure out. The business impact was staggering. Anthropic's revenue exploded from $1 billion to $5 billion in just seven months. Their $200 per month Claude Code subscription became the fastest growing developer tool in history. Major companies started rebuilding their entire development workflows around Claude. For the first time in the AI wars, it looked like someone other than OpenAI might actually win a major category. Claude 4.1 wasn't just competitive in coding. It was so far ahead that many experts thought OpenAI might never catch up. Chapter 2. The GPT-5 Bombshell. August 7, 2025. 10.47 a.m. Pacific Time. That's the exact moment when OpenAI published a blog post that changed everything. Introducing GPT-5. The headline alone was shocking enough. OpenAI had been playing coy about GPT-5 for months, with CEO Sam Altman dropping cryptic hints but never committing to a timeline. Most experts thought we wouldn't see GPT-5 until late 2025 or early 2026. But it wasn't just the surprise release that sent shockwaves through Silicon Valley. Sweebench verified 74.9% shed EPT-5 had not only caught up to Claude 4.1's 74.5%, it had beaten it. But that microscopic 0.4% difference told a story that most people missed. In AI benchmarks, improvements of even 0.1% represent enormous leaps in capability. A 0.4% jump meant OpenAI had achieved something that should have been impossible. They had built a model that was definitively better than Claude at the one thing Claude was supposed to be unbeatable at, coding. But the SWE bench score was just the appetizer. GPT-5 demolished Claude across every other coding benchmark, too. On Eider Polyglot, which tests code editing across multiple programming languages, GPT-5 hit 88%, representing a one-third reduction in error rate compared to previous models. 
in front-end web development, GPT-5 beat OpenAI's own previous best model 70% of the time in blind testing. And unlike Claude, which was great at coding but mediocre at everything else, GPT-5 maintained OpenAI's traditional strength across all domains while gaining this new coding superpower. Chapter 3. The Developer Exodus Begins The response from the developer community was swift and brutal for Anthropic. Within hours of GPT-5's release, early testers from major coding companies started sharing their reactions. Cursor, one of the most popular AI coding tools, called GPT-5 the smartest model we've used. Vercel said it was the best front-end AI model they'd ever tested. But the real game-changer wasn't just GPT-5's raw capability, it was OpenAI's distribution strategy. While Claude 4.1 was locked behind Anthropic's expensive $200 slash month subscription, OpenAI made GPT-5 available to every free chat GPT user as their default model. Even more importantly, GPT-5 immediately rolled out to GitHub Copilot, the coding assistant used by over 1 million developers worldwide. In a single day, GPT-5 went from not existing to being in the hands of more programmers than Claude had ever reached. The early reports from developers were devastating for Claude. GPT-5 wasn't just slightly better, it was noticeably, dramatically superior at the kinds of complex, multi-step coding tasks that separate great AI from good AI. One alpha tester put it perfectly. GPT-5 is remarkably intelligent, easy to steer, and even has a personality we haven't seen in any other model. It not only catches tricky, deeply hidden bugs, but can also run long, multi-turn background agents to see complex tasks through to the finish, the kinds of problems that used to leave other models stuck. Chapter 4. The Technical Knockout So how did OpenAI pull off this comeback? The answer lies in GPT-5's revolutionary architecture, what OpenAI calls their first unified AI model. Previous AI models faced a fundamental trade-off. You could have fast responses or deep reasoning, but not both. OpenAI's O-series models could think deeply, but were painfully slow. The GPT series was fast, but couldn't handle complex multi-step reasoning. GPT-5 solved this by combining both approaches into a single system. It has the lightning-fast responses developers need for real-time coding assistance, but when it encounters a complex problem, it can automatically switch into deep reasoning mode, thinking through problems step-by-step so step like a human engineer would. But the real breakthrough was in training. While Claude was trained primarily on text, GPT-5 was trained on actual code execution. It didn't just learn what good code looks like. It learned what good code does. The model can run code in its head, debug problems by tracing through execution paths, and understand the difference between code that compiles and code that actually works. This execution-aware training shows up in ways that make GPT-5 feel almost magical to use. It can spot bugs that other models miss, suggest optimizations that actually improve performance, and write code that works correctly on the first try far more often than any previous model. Chapter 5, Anthropic's $5 billion problem. The timing of GPT-5's release couldn't have been worse for Anthropic. Just weeks earlier, they had been celebrating their rocket ship growth, revenue jumping from $1 billion to $5 billion in seven months, their Claude Code subscription bringing in $400 million annually. But those numbers were built on a single premise, that Claude was the undisputed king of AI coding. Overnight, that premise evaporated. The business implications are staggering. Anthropic had positioned Claude 4.1 as premium software worth $200 per month. Now, OpenAI was offering superior performance for free to basic chat GPT users and integrating it into GitHub Copilot for a fraction of Claude's price. Worse yet, OpenAI's victory wasn't narrow, it was comprehensive. 
GPT-5 didn't just barely edge out Claude on one benchmark, it beat Claude on every coding metric while maintaining superiority in reasoning, math, science, and general knowledge. For enterprise customers who had committed to Claude-based development workflows, the GPT-5 release created an uncomfortable question. Why pay $200 per month for the second best AI when you can get the best one for free? The developer community, always quick to adopt superior tools, began migrating almost immediately. Social media filled with screenshots of GPT-5 solving coding problems that Claude couldn't handle, writing better code with less prompting, and delivering results that felt noticeably more intelligent. Chapter 6. The End of the Coding Wars GPT-5's victory represents more than just another benchmark win. It marks the end of the AI coding wars that have defined the past year. For months, the competition between OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google created a beautiful innovation cycle. Each company would release a better model, forcing the others to respond with even better capabilities. Developers benefited enormously from this arms race, with AI coding tools improving at a pace that seemed almost impossible. But GPT-5 appears to have ended that cycle by creating a gap too large for competitors to quickly close. The model's unified architecture, execution-aware training, and seamless integration with existing developer tools create advantages that go beyond raw performance metrics. More importantly, OpenAI's decision to make GPT-5 freely available while competitors charge premium prices creates a competitive dynamic that's almost impossible to overcome. How do you convince developers to pay $200 per month for a worse product when they can get the best one for free? The implications extend far beyond coding tools. GPT-5's dominance in programming, the most technically demanding application for AI, suggests that OpenAI may be pulling ahead across all domains. If they can build the best coding AI while maintaining their lead in reasoning, science, and general intelligence, it becomes very hard for competitors to find a sustainable niche. Chapter 7. What this means for developers. For the millions of programmers around the world, GPT-5's victory creates both opportunities and challenges that will reshape the entire profession. The opportunity is obvious. Developers now have access to the most capable coding AI ever created. Available for free in chat GPT and integrated into the tools they already use, like GitHub Copilot. The productivity gains will be enormous. GPT-5 can handle routine coding tasks, debug complex problems, and even architect entire applications with minimal human guidance. But the challenges are more subtle and potentially more important. As AI becomes capable of handling increasingly sophisticated programming tasks, the role of human developers is evolving from writing code to directing AI systems. The most successful programmers will be those who learn to work with AI as a collaborative partner, rather than treating it as a glorified autocomplete tool. GPT-5's advanced reasoning capabilities make this partnership more natural than ever before. The model can explain its decisions, adapt to coding styles, and even learn from feedback within a single conversation. It's not just a tool, it's starting to feel like a junior developer who never gets tired, never makes careless mistakes, and has perfect memory of every programming language and framework ever created. The speed of improvement in AI coding also creates urgency for developers to adapt. The gap between GPT-5 and previous models is so large that developers using older AI tools will be at a significant disadvantage. The programming community will likely split between those who embrace the latest AI capabilities and those who fall behind. Powerful closing and final subscribe push. As we wrap up this incredible story, I want you to understand what you just witnessed. This wasn't just one company beating another in a benchmark test. This was the moment when AI coding capabilities took a quantum leap forward and when the competitive landscape shifted so dramatically that it may never recover. GPT-5 didn't just win the coding wars, it ended them.
By combining superior performance with free availability and seamless integration, OpenAI has created a combination that competitors will struggle to match. But here's what makes this story even more remarkable. We're still in the early stages of AI development. If GPT-5 represents this big A leap over previous models, what will GPT-6 be capable of? How long before AI can handle entire software projects from conception to deployment? This is exactly why this channel exists. We don't just report on new AI releases. We analyze what they mean for the future of entire industries. While others focus on features and demos, we're tracking the strategic moves that will determine which companies and which professionals thrive in the AI age. If you want to stay ahead of these seismic shifts, if you want to understand not just what's happening in AI, but what it means for your career and your industry, then subscribe right now. We're building a community of people who see around corners, who understand the implications before they become obvious. Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join the conversation. The comments. Because the coding wars may be over, but the AI revolution is just getting started. GPT-5 didn't just be Claude 4.1, it showed us the future of programming itself.